we found out that it's a busted fan belt. And Jeff figured it out just by George telling him what he smelled. Hey guys, Jeff the Magic Man, getting kind of windy. I'm gonna be short and sweet with this one. And then uh, maybe attach another video to this. It's a big ass storm coming. This unit's not running. Or it's not cooling. I mean, it's, it's running, it's cooling, but we have a damn sun. All right, let get the hell off this fucking roof right now. Yeah, it's coming. I ain't, I ain't going to mess with this. There's a slight sound. Yeah, I hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's so windy. But uh the belt's not doing too good in here. Yesterday just started freezing up and stuff. That whole accumulator up there was freezing up. Alright, here comes the rain. I gotta go. This thing's gonna have to just Yeah, this is not going to be cool. I got to get off this damn roof, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Nobody's been complaining about it. That's for the hallways. So I'm not too concerned about that. Nobody's going to pass out on the hallways. It being 79 down here, so. Uh, so I'll come back up here after this uh, blows over, maybe. Or when I get a chance and replace the belt on that that's what's going on with it and uh down the hatch down the hatch all right well we'll be back i guess save some battery juices for when i have to fix that damn thing we'll be back Hey, we're back. All right, uh, hold on. Every time I put you on my head, I get that raindrops and stuff. Yeah, boy. All right, so I got a BX50 belt. Which I think is what's supposed to go on there. It's a lot thicker. Now I'm thinking. That's the one that goes on there, not the other one. But at the same time, this is going to be loose as crap, also. So maybe let's see because now it's got extra standoff. Oh, there we go. But still, I ain't gonna do it. But that that is the BX style belt goes on this. Now, the problem I got is they've already taken this tensioner all the way out. So, I don't really know what belt goes on there. So, here's an AX49, which is a different style belt, which is not the right style belt. A BX style belt is what goes on this unit. 100% sure now. I mean, look at the mating surface on that. If y'all can see that, I don't know. But... That's definitely the belt, a BX style, maybe BX 49 or BX anything after 50. But I don't think 50 is going to work because I can't tighten it up with this tensioner here. So I can't get the motor to slide this way with it. So I'm probably going to have to put, just to get them through, again... Put an AX49 belt on that. That's a lot tighter. And that, that'll that probably work for now. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll get like a, uh, a BX, like, uh, the, the last number is basically, like this is 49, so that means if you, uh, no, that's, 
Where's this at? Okay, so AX49. AX is kind of like the style. And then the 4.9 is kind of, don't get me wrong here. I mean, I might be wrong telling you this, but it's almost safe to assume if you cut this, 49 inches of belt would be laid flat. So, that's looking good. I mean, you loosen these four bolts, and then you loosen... You loosen this to go back, back, you know, an inch or so. And then you could, or you could use it to push it or pull it. If you want to pull it backwards, you loosen this bolt. If you want to push it, you loosen this bolt and it would push on this bolt and push it forward as you tighten this screw. Um, up. And as you can see, it looks like maybe that's partially our problem this screw is kind of out i mean this nut whatever you want to call it is out of like the thing here so but it's tight let's just kick it on see what happens if it if it rolls a little bit better than it did so be another temporary belt fix Kick her on, baby. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah. A little bit of flop in it. A little bit of flop. But I guarantee you it's not gonna freeze up now. And this, uh, this belt dust is not gonna go into the return. And uh, cause a uh, cause a uh, trouble to go off. All right. Well, for now, another temporary fix. I can't really tighten that anymore. Yep. So there's no point in even trying until I get the right belt. I get a smaller belt couple inches shorter a BX 50 is too big we've already tried that we'll go with a BX 48 47 46 and 45 because that's inches on this bar here so I can move this motor back a little bit and I want it about right here it used to be like that so um, we have some play about right here so I'll probably go with a BX 48 or 49 to take an inch off of this so I have an inch to uh, stretch the belt. That's it. That's really it. It's not freezing up now. I mean, the door's open, but there. But, um, whoa, there's suction now, baby. All right. God, I hate these, these carriers. They get bent like that. Hit the corners, go up. There you go. So yeah, this is the proper belt, but it's just too big. So I need something smaller. BX 40, 49 will work. Well, that's AX 49, so I don't know. Um, yeah, no. Where'd I put my bolts at? Uh oh. Where the hell them things go? I can't see nothing. Ah, oh, crap. Y'all see them? put them right here yeah put them in a pocket I probably put them in a pocket of course I did 
Why not utilize what they got, right? Of course I put them on the pipe. I'm working on a toilet today, and I mean a sink. There's a lot of stuff I do. You guys don't see. I just post the interesting stuff. But, you know, most of the other shit is probably interesting too, so. But, I can't film it. So we're gonna button this up. We're gonna stick by it for a little bit just to make sure everything's not gonna freeze up. And if it was gonna freeze up, it would've already done it. Last night you should have heard the, uh, when when he fixed the relay in that box, man, I fired this thing up, I was like, <laughs> like the belt sounded better today when I fired it up earlier. <sighs> then, uh, then it did last night. I was like, oh, okay, there's your problem. The belt's burning up, probably sending smoke into the return, you know. Oh, look at all those beautiful AC units. At any moment's notice, the shit could go wrong. Alright, so that's just sweating back now. That's better than it was yesterday. Ah, it's nice and cold. The whole accumulator was freezing up and stuff, and it's sounding a lot better. So. It was indeed a belt and that relay had it shut down so I uh, had to call the fire people out here to surface it but it seems like it'll, it's, it's gonna do okay I need to get up here and maybe change you know hose out some pre filters and get the filters changed in this unit it's kind of a pain in the butt um, to get the filters out but you can get in there, get them done. Got to have a ladder to work on the damn thing, but at least you only need a step stool, not a damn 10-foot ladder. So, whew. All right, guys, back up on the roof. Coming back off the roof. Jeff, the maintenance man. All right, another fix by Jeff the Maintenance Man. Uh, so go ahead and place your bets. Which one of these units is gonna go down? This is just one wing of our building now. So, um, you got a wing over there, a wing over there. I told you this before, but go ahead, place your bets. I bet, I bet you that one right there. <laughs> anyway, Jeff the Maintenance Man. Going back down the hole. We found out that it's a busted fan belt. And Jeff figured it out just by George telling him what he smelled. <laughs> <laughs>